Hello everybody. This is Digital Blackboard by Sachin Pinad Mote. In this video, we are going to discuss the topic significance of back EMF. So first of all, let us know what exactly the meaning of back EMF. So the working principle of motor is when a current carrying conductor is placed in the electromagnetic flux, it experiences the mechanical force due to which it rotates. So our current carrying conductor, it means our armature is placed in the electromagnetic flux and that's why it is rotating. It is the torque is getting developed on it and it is rotating. So when this armature is rotating in the electromagnetic flux, there is generator action taking place in the motor and due to that, there is an induced EMF in the armature and this induced EMF is called as back EMF. It is called as back EMF because its direction is exactly opposite to the supply voltage. And that's why it is called as back EMF or counter EMF. So if we apply KVL in this loop, we can have the equation Eb is equal to Vs minus IRA, where Vs is the supply voltage and IRA is the voltage drop in, in the resistor of armature. So from this equation, we can get I is equal to Vs minus Eb upon RA. It means I is directly proportional to negative Eb or we can write I is inversely proportional to Eb. Next, the EMF equation is given by 5 PNZ upon 60A. So from this, we can have the equation N proportional to Eb by 5. It means the speed of motor is directly proportional to back EMF. And finally, the torque equation of DC motor is given by product of directly proportional to product of flux and armature current. So from these three equations, N proportional to Eb by 5, I proportional to 1 by Eb and T proportional to 5 into I, we can discuss the significance of back EMF. So let us compare the working of this motor with the vehicle driving a vehicle so as we know that at the beginning our vehicle is at stationary position at standstill and hence we apply first gear because if we want to accelerate this vehicle from its zero speed we require maximum torque so in the first gear maximum torque is available same thing is happening over here at starting our motor is at stationary condition and that's why it requires very high starting torque so will there be high starting torque available at starting let us check so at, at starting the speed of this rotor is not rotating it means the speed is zero as the speed is zero the back emf will be zero and as the back emf is zero i armature current i will be infinity and that's why at starting the armature current is directly proportional to torque hence it, maximum armature current is there and that's why maximum torque is there so motor will draw maximum armature current at starting to have maximum torque at starting and hence our motor will rotate okay now in the same next, next step as our vehicle is accelerating at a normal condition what should happen now so after applying the first gear and if we if we accelerate the vehicle what happen we apply second gear third gear because at that time the requirement of torque is reduced so when speed increases torque should reduce okay that's why we apply second gear third gear fourth gear like that. The same thing is happening over here as our rotor is rotating now the requirement is torque requirement of torque is very low and that's why what will happen the rotor is rotating it means speed increases as speed increases the back emf will increase as back emf increase armature current will reduce and hence the motor draws reduce armature current and as armature current reduces torque also reduces this condition is getting satisfied over here so at normal condition the torque reduces then after application of load if we apply connect load to the shaft of that dc motor what will happen ultimately the speed of dc motor will reduce so if we the, if we get the path like that what happens our speed reduces and that's why what happened we reduce the gear as well so here as speed increases torque should be speed decreases torque should be increased so same thing will happen here so when speed reduces what will happen back emf will reduce when back emf reduces armature current will also armature current will increase so motor will draw more armature current from the source and as there is increase in the armature current torque will also increase so when speed is less more torque is required and this condition is getting satisfied over here so as we see in the application of load torque requirement is increased and that's why the motor is drawing more armature current okay now as sudden re removal of load if we remove the load what will happen then suddenly the speed of dc motor will increase so at that time there will be reduced reduction in the torque okay so if we get the path like this our vehicle, speed of our vehicle increases so at that time what we have what happened we apply the brake or we change the gear okay 
so as we change the gear what happens here the braking system is there and that's why as sudden removal of load what happens speed will increase as speed increases back mf will also increase and as back mf increases i will reduce and as i reduces torque also reduces hence the braking action will take place in the motor so from this uh, we can conclude that because of this back emf because of this back emf the armature draws as much of armature current as per the requirement of torque so we can summarize that at beginning the speed is zero and hence more torque is required so this condition is getting satisfied over here when motor rotates speed increases hence torque reduces after application of load speed reduces and hence torque increases and after removal of load speed increases and hence torque also reduces so finally we can conclude that back emf makes motor self regulating it makes motor to draw armature current as per the requirement so this is the significance of back emf that is it makes motor self regulating so i hope you understood this topic very well so please like share and subscribe digital blackboard thank you very much